Seacliff. Moved to Seacliff in 2000 or 2001. I had a conversation once when, when uh, my kid was uh, maybe like two years old in the park, uh, in Central Park with somebody and, and we were just talking about life and uh, she said, what do you want to do? I said, I really want to own a bar someday. But that's where it all started for me. I heard him talking about it when I was working on his house with two other gentlemen. And I got to say, I was getting a little jealous when I heard this story. I was like, yeah, it sounds like fun. I want to do that. I didn't want to get involved with theirs. And then they kind of backed out. And I approached them and said, hey, let's do this. And then we came and we came and looked in here. And uh, I immediately was like, that's the place. I, I just knew it. I was like, that, uh, you know, it was, it, it needed a lot of work. An enormous amount of work, but I knew this was the place. Is that potential to look cool? It's a good spot. Right in the corner of the sea cliff. So, yeah, it was, uh, good. When we first started booking live music here, it was mostly the local acts, and then um, a few more. You know, people would hear about it on Long Island, but then we, um, Jason Crosby, who plays with Phil Lesh, um, and grew up in Glen Cove, he's played for a million people. Um, he called and, and said, I'd, I'd love to, to book my band there when I'm home, when I'm off tour. So we booked him, and after we booked him, because a lot of people follow him, we, I was inundated with requests. The national touring acts, low, more, everybody from all parts of Long Island and New York. Um, and that's part of the, I mean, that was, it was really hard to do, but really fun to do as well, to listen to everything out there um, and curate the bands that come through. And we, you know, when we book live music, we'll book um, the difference you know, there was great music at the Oak Room, there was great music happening at Metro, um, but it was all small scale. We, we, we would bring in, you know, eight piece, nine piece, we've had 11 piece bands in here. On some nights, when bands come in, there's already a feeling of, in the air of how amazing it's going to be. And there won't be any music going on, you still can feel it, but then like a switch, when the band starts playing, the vibe completely changes to a, a party. That's like my favorite thing in the world, when a band can do that. When the, the bar is packed with people and everybody's having a good time, but the minute the music starts playing, the level of good time goes through the roof and everybody knows they're in for uh, like a night to remember because this band is clearly like from note one crushing the night. That's like my favorite thing. Dave Diamond um, is one of those people who uh, he plays in, ah, God, he probably plays in 20 bands. Um, or more. He's just been a journeyman player um, and the first time I saw him he was playing drums and he was fantastic and I was talking to him a little bit because I'm a drummer myself and um, he said oh I, I would love to bring my band in here and he's clearly an amazing drummer so I thought yeah. Uh, yeah I met him here playing with I don't even know what band and I was like sure you can bring your band in I figured he's gonna bring another great band with you know him playing drums and I got there a little late, and Dave Diamond Band was playing, and it was him taking a blazing solo on electric guitar. <laughs> and I was just like, wow, it's not what I expected. And his band was amazing, of course, filled with like the best of the best musicians. It's one of my favorite bands that comes through. Um, I'm really excited that he's part of the fundraiser. Um, and uh, I want to get back to booking him all the time. Uh, the 
reality is to crawl out of this in one piece is going to be a miracle. The effects of COVID-19, um, we, we went from a staff of 25 to I think six. Um, and I put, you know, the working, working musicians that came here, we have live music every Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, I, I can't book any music. Um, so all of those gig, day to day, dollar to dollar musicians are out. Um, and for us, uh, and for this place, we, we don't make money unless we are three deep at the bar and the place is packed. It's too expensive. There's so many expenses that go into owning a bar that nobody knows about. Okay, one of the cool things about a bar um, is that people approach you for things um, that, and where you can help people, um, and they can help you at the same time. So we've thrown numerous fundraisers at the bar where we give people a place that they can hang out. People wind up buying drinks. They they'll maybe well, they'll do food. Um, it helps them raise money um, in a really casual, fun setting. Um, and so Jamie reached out to me, um, and we met over a, um, I actually didn't know what she looked like for many weeks because we were both wearing masks. <laughs> and um, I talked about her project, Love Your Neighbor. Um, asked about a fundraiser and I said, well, I'm in a tough spot, but I'd love to help however we can. So, you know, she realized what a tough spot I'm in and she said, well, let's throw a fundraiser for the bar that can also help us. So I said, all right, let's do it. <laughs> the fundraiser is going to be on August 12th. We're going to keep it safe. Uh, in an ideal world, it's a scary number, but maybe like, maybe $100,000 to keep us going forward until people feel safe coming into a bar again. So, instead of spending all your money at Minimart, you can spend it all on August 12th at this fundraiser. And Alicia Keys will be there. Maybe. <laughs> We wrote her a letter. So partner up with Still Partners and Love Your Neighbor Project on August 12th. It's going to be like the other events we've done with the Seacliff Night Inn. It'll be on Facebook Live. So far we have Dave Diamond is going to be the main actor. We have feelers out to a whole bunch of actors that definitely want to come help us. Kanye is going to announce his presidential run from here. Um, and then Andy Aldo is going to play some awesome Hendrix licks. It's all happening on August 12th. Right? I'm going to bring the bar to you. <laughs> <laughs> At least we got that part. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> I was waiting for it. Take two. Take two. And we're going to bring the bar to you. <laughs> <laughs>